Circle theorems, further maths GCSE. Okay, so this question we have a, obviously a circle, cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So that means that all the points of the quadrilateral are on the surface of the circle, on the, the circumference of the circle. We have a tangent um, CE, and uh, we are trying to find the angle X. Now, um, there are a number of ways we could go about this, but I'm going to show you the way I would do it. So, first of all, I'm thinking, when I see this, I'm thinking there's a triangle here or here. Um, if I can work out some of the other angles, I can work out X because they're up to 180. Um, I can see straight away that this angle here is going to be 46. That's right, 46. 46 because um, if I have a chord and a circle, the angle formed from a chord on the circumference of the circle, this angle here, this 46 angle here, is going to be the same as any other angle formed from that chord. So if I, if I make another angle anywhere on the circumference of the circle, in fact this one here, then those two are the same. So that angle there is 46 because that angle is 46. Okay, that's one thing. Now I'm thinking this angle here would be quite useful to know. So I'm actually going to bring in another copy of this diagram so I don't mess that one up. Um, so I'm going to look for this angle here. If I can get this angle here, then I've got three part, two parts of the triangle and I can work out the third. Now, um, with a tangent, anytime I see a tangent with circles, I'm thinking alternate segment theorem. Um, that tells me that when I've got a chord to a tangent, so a chord that's touching the tangent, um, the angle formed by that chord in the opposite segment, the alternate segment, so on the other side, is equal to this angle. So this angle that's formed between the tangent and the chord, if we then take that chord and draw another angle in this anywhere along here, because they're all the same anyway, this angle here is going to be the same as this angle here. So that's just those two added up, which is 70, 83. So we've got 83 down there, we've got 46 up there. And if we combine those, we get 83 plus 46 plus the angle X equals 180. So because of that triangle, um, because of this triangle here, which if we try to work out this triangle, um, that must add up to 180. So that leaves us with 129 plus X is 180. So X is going to be 180 minus 129, which is 51 degrees. Okay, now you would get some marks if you worked out some of these angles. So say you worked out this was 46, I wrote that down, that would be one mark. Um, you could work out this angle here is 37 because that's 37. So it's always a good idea to be showing some, um, if you're not sure how to get to the answer, just start doing some angles that you know are going to be the same or using the rules. So you may show this angle here is the same as this is this 180 minus this angle. Um, might necessarily help the whole question, but um, it would be a correct use of the circle theorems. So often with these questions is to start just to start see anything you can see straight away and start putting those angles on, and it will hopefully lead you to an answer.